In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the true inclination between an oblique plane, as shown here, and my vertical plane, and in a few minutes I'll show you how to do it against my horizontal plane. So starting off with the vertical plane, the first thing is try to understand what we're going to do to this plane to find the true inclination. We are trying to find the true inclination between the oblique plane and the vertical plane here. So starting off with our elevation, we're going to draw a line anywhere that is 90 degrees to the given trace, like so. This line here is 90 degrees to the given trace. When we've got this, we're going to use this line as a radius of our cone. So we're going to swing a semicircle around that's this radius from this point here to center, this point here is my edge, like so. And there's the elevation of my cone. This point here, we're going to extend it on until it hits HT in the plan. So if I look towards my plan, you're going to see where this hits. Here's my plan, and here's the apex of my cone. I brought this point the whole way down. I also joined where I revolved my arc to the XY line, so from the XY line down to here to my apex and from the other side as well. Now we'll look at my plan I'm going to see that the angle that I swung round between my XY line and my apex of my cone is a true angle that my cone makes to the plane. To solve this in 3D form, here's my cone underneath. And if I turn this to an edge view along this line of my plane, you'll see that this oblique plane is in contact with my cone from this point to the apex of my cone. That's how you find the angle. So if I look down at this angle between this line and this line, it's going to be the exact same as if I looked at my plan looking down. Those two angles are the exact same. That's how you find the true inclination between your oblique plane and the vertical trace. This time we define the true inclination between the oblique plane and the horizontal plane. So we're going to start off with our plan and we're going to find a radius for a cone and an angle. So we're going to find a radius which is this line here which is perpendicular to our HP and we're going to rotate this point back to the XY line. From this we're going to get a cone again. There's our cone. And we're going to extend the center point straight up until it hits the VT in elevation. So if I turn to my elevation you can see it hits the VT up here. There's my cone. And I've also found the true inclination. Because the angle here at our point of contact between this line and this line is the exact same as it is here in elevation. If I turn to my isometric you can see where my cone fits in, in there, and I can also see the edge view, which is this here. My plane is fully in contact with my cone inside. That's how you find the true inclination between the oblique plane and the corresponding either vertical plane or horizontal plane. 